was a big time in the music world, but their stage success concealed a private life of violence. Now a film called What's Love Got To Do With It, based on Tina's biography, has reopened old wounds. It paints Ike Turner as a womanizing, cocaine-addicted monster who beat his wife with coat hangers and walking sticks and once threw boiling coffee in her face. Ike, who's recently served time in prison on drugs charges, claims it's a lie. Both he and Tina agreed to speak to me about their tempestuous life together. If everything Tina says about you is true, then you're a bad man. Well, well, I would say this, uh, uh, maybe so, if it was true, but, uh, 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 but if that's what it took to make her what she is today, then uh, uh, I have no regrets. There's no scars on Tina. You can take a real close look at her. She's never had any skin graft on her face anywhere. If I put coffee on her and she got, uh, uh, from what I understand, she said 33 and 30 degree burns or whatever it was, I'm sure that it would been, she would have had to have some skin graft or something. Like how bad were you into cocaine? Oh, I was uh, terrible, man. Terrible. Best thing happened to me was when I went to jail, man. And so that's when I got my life back together. I can gladly say now, man, that I've been clean now, man, for five years, you know, a little over five years. Is Tina a classy lady? A what? Classy. Classy lady? Yeah. Uh, I, th I think so. She used to be. I don't know anything about her today, man, I, because other words, I don't, she talked with a, uh, uh, an accent like an uh, English accent or Australian accent or something. Where would she be now? if she'd never met you? Yeah, probably in St. Louis, a uh, nurse's aide at the, um, at Barnes Hospital. Did you make that much difference to her life? Well, I think so. Uh, there was better singers, they, they look better, they dance better, they perform better, you know, but uh, she was just the one that I chose in my group uh, to be out front. And I do. Appreciate you. Tina, thanks for your time, it's good to talk to you. Thank you. First the book, now the movie. Why did you want to do that? The book was written because I, I was having a problem with every interviewer talking about my past and with Ike, and I felt that if I told the story of what my life was like there, people would understand why I left. And then they all went crazy to want to know uh, how I stayed there, right? What did you think of the movie? I haven't yet seen the movie. Yeah, why not? Well, because I had enough when I was there. I don't need to see photographs. I don't need to see a movie. I don't need to be reminded. Was there anything good about Ike in your life? Yes, I learned many things from Ike. All of my training, except my talent, and, and I would say my talent is in terms of my dancing and my singing, was natural for me, but the exposure came through Ike Turner. You talked about victim, and of course the book and the movie features your allegations about his bashings. Tell me about that. <laughs> you like to hear that. <laughs> That's what it's all I about. I have to make a joke. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's my only way of communicating. Yes, Ike was a violent man when I met him with his ladies before, his women before. I knew that he was a violent person. I also knew that he had a mental problem, and uh, this is this is not sort of featured in the movie. Yes, he was, he, was, he was a brutal man. He had some problems from childhood, and it's sort of reflected in his life. Tina, as you know, Ike says your allegations aren't true. Let me show you a brief clip where he answers my question on beating you. Well, uh, 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 what I did do to Tina is like, uh, uh, we've had, uh, I've slapped Tina. Uh, the only time I ever punched Tina in my life was the last fight that we had. And, 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 and that was uh, in Dallas, Texas. Uh, this is the last time we broke up. Uh, 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 uh. I have slapped her any time. Uh, when I say slapped her, it's like, uh, uh, I think we lived a lie. Uh, our whole life was a lie. Tina, what do you say to that? I don't want to start an argument with Ike Turner via satellite. <laughs> everyone knows, everyone that worked for Ike and Tina in those days know what happened. Um, I can see why someone would want to deny it. It shows, you know, not a very good character, but uh, I, I have nothing to say. Okay, well, let's put the violence aside because it certainly had a good airing in the book and will have in the movie. But there was another thing he said, and I can understand maybe he's trying to get back at you, but I'd like to, to put it to you because it seems so unusual. He said about you that he believed you didn't want to be black. I'd like 
you to see him now say that. She don't even associate with anybody that knew the two of us. In other words, there's not one black employee around her. None. Not even a musician. Tina, what do you say to that? Well, how can I explain? When I hired my band, uh, the auditions was open. But no one came. No black people came. Um, my success came from Europe. Let's say a white country, even though black people are there. Australia, England. All of my success did come from a white country. So what can I say? I, I, I mean, I can't just wait around and depend on my race to, uh, to help me to become successful if there's another race there to help. These days, you've got to go for what's there. So basically, you had a white market. Yes, and I had white people that cared about my success and that helped. It, it actually came from another country. You know, that's just how it happened. What can I say? It was my luck. It had nothing to do with chance. It was just it, how it was. I'm happy it's how it was. <laughs> um, I won't carry on about Ike, but I'll just put one more. Let him have you say one time more. You talked about him having sex around the house in unusual circumstances, even when the children were there. Here's what he had to say about that. She knew what I liked and just like by for four years she was getting girls for me. I mean, I would tell her, go get this girl and send her over the house and et cetera. So she knew what I liked and disliked about women. Tina? Uh, yeah, I knew what he liked and disliked because they were all around me. They, yes, Ike's women were basically the secretaries, the Ikeats, and um, I don't recall actually getting women for Ike. I was friendly with everybody that was there, but actually, I had no freedom to go out and get anybody because we were all basically locked in. So there was no freedom for this kind of a thing. Whoever was there was whoever he had brought in. You know, that's how it was. You seem very calm and accepting about the bad times with him and even seeing those clips, you, you take it pretty calmly. I'm, I'm past it. It's been 16 years since I haven't been with Ike. And the movie and the book is bringing me back to the past of something that was really awful. My life is wonderful at the moment. I hold no anger. And it doesn't matter to me what a lot of people say, you know, it's, I know the difference. I am a happy person now, and I don't dwell on unhappiness. Well, that's a great way to be. So what more do you want out of life? Well, let's see. I'd like to do a few, mov few movies uh, still. Uh, let's see. I'm not really worried about anything. It's just the course of life now at this stage. I'm waiting to see what will be the next step. And you're coming out to Australia soon. I think you're singing at the Rugby League Grand Final. Yes, that's going to be so great. I know it's going to be. I know it's going to be wonderful because this song is a song that I always felt would be great for sports. And this is the first time actually seeing one of the games and actually being there. I, I'm thoroughly excited about coming. Tina, look forward to seeing you when you come down under. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Please come and say hello. Starring at Sydney's Rugby League Grand Final, Tina's Australian tour gets underway in Perth on October 11. Should be a sellout. More in a moment. <laughs>